What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a cute cartoon illustration of Moana from Moana 2. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two large circles for the eyes. Now you want to start with the one on the left. You want to start from the very top, come all the way around towards the bottom of the eye, and then bend that back up towards the top. Now you want to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So start by lining up the top. You want to bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Now you're going to pull the pupils towards the inside. So let's start on the left side, draw a smaller circle. Going all the way around and then bend that back in. Let's line this up on the right. Now on the top left side of each pupil, draw a smaller circle for a highlight. Then again, just line this up on the right. And then we want to fill the inside of the pupils in black, going around that highlight. Now I want to give our character some thick lashes. So start from the left side of the eye. We're going to go up a little bit higher in the middle and then taper that back towards the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right, going all the way around and then down. And we're going to fill the inside of the eyelid. Let's add one curl along the outside, starting on the left Bend it down and up, and then taper that back in toward the inside, and we'll fill those points in black. Now with the eyes in place, let's move to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. We're going to start on the left, because it's down, across, and then up. Now we're going to move up and draw a short curve going up and then down across the bridge of the nose. Let's move down and draw in the mouth, starting over on the left, bend this down, across, and then up, and then we'll add a bracket on the end. Let's add in that upper lip, starting over on the left, we're just going to bend this in and up toward the middle, bend this around, and then out, go back to the left side, draw the lower lip, coming down, and then up. Now we're gonna move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, we're gonna step out, round up the head, coming down, across the chin, and we'll bend that up on the right side. Now I wanna curl the hair across the side of the head. So we're gonna step up and in, bend this down, across, bend this in, and then back out. Now I wanna take that shape and flip it over on the right. So we're gonna step up and in, across the side of the head, going out, in, and then down. And then we're going to tuck the ears in underneath, starting up here, coming down and in towards the side of the head. Let's go back up to the top and just continue up along the hairline. Bring this up and then in. Go up and then pull that down in the center. Now in between the edge of the hair and the eyes, we're going to draw on the eyebrow. Starting from the outside, bend this up and then in, line this up on the right, going out and then down. Let's flatten off the inside with two straight lines going up. And I just want to taper this out and then down towards the point. Let's fill the inside of the eyebrows in black. Now I want to come back to the hair after we've drawn in the body. Let's start along the side, just underneath the head, starting on the left, then the body going out, and then down towards the hip, and then line this up on the right, going out, and then down. Let's connect the hips with a curve. Let's go to the center of the body along the top. We're going to draw an oval, all the way around. And then from the top left, we're going to add a wave, going up, down the middle, and then up on the right. 
Let's add some beads along the side. I'm just gonna add one circle on the left. And we wanna go up at an angle. Just continue adding these small circles. I'm gonna add three on either side. Let's connect the top of the body with the curve. Coming down in behind. Continue up on the right. Step down and draw that again. I'm going to add that strap on the left side. Start from this point that is out and up. Come in beside the necklace, draw that again. And we'll add a seam along the center. Now from the hips, we're going to draw the outside of the skirt. Let's start on the left. Going out and then down towards the side. And then from the bottom, we're going to bend this down and in, leaving a gap in between. Over on the left side, bend this up and then across towards the hip on the right, go to the right and just tuck this in towards the middle. Let's add a seam across this line. Now from the left hip, we're gonna step up, draw a curve going across and go up a little bit higher on the right. Now in the center of the body, we're gonna add a curve going up and then down. And you wanna add some shells just underneath that curve. We'll start in the middle, add a circle, leave a gap and just work our way out towards the left and add two more on the right. Now you wanna tuck the legs in underneath, leave a gap in the center, go to the left side. Bend the leg going out and then down towards the heel on the left and right. Round out the heel and just pull that up towards the first toe. Go back to the left side. We're gonna draw a C shape for the first toe. And then you wanna layer two more toes along the outside. Let's go in between the last two toes, curl the foot, going up and then bend that in. Now from the bottom corner of the skirt, we're going to step in, bend the leg, going out and then down on top of the feet. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw the arm stretched out, holding two stabs. Let's start from the top of the body on the left, bend the arm coming down and then out towards the wrist, go to the right side and do the same thing. Now from the wrist, we're going to swirl around the thumb. We're going to go up, come down, round up the tip of the thumb and then bend that back up. Let's add the edge of the palm, coming down and then in. Now I want to wrap three fingers along the outside. Start from the side of the thumb, draw a half oval, going out and then back in. And I'll layer two more fingers underneath. Go all the way around, just tuck that up underneath the thumb. And then we'll add one more across the bottom. Now we'll layer the step in an angle in behind the hands. Let's start on top of the left finger. we we'll go up in an angle to right about there. Step in, come down towards the thumb. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting on top of the finger, coming down in an angle, and then thumb. Now I want to continue these two lines along the bottom of the hand. We we'll come all the way down right about there, line this up on the inside, and we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Now before we finish off the top, let's finish off the arms. Underneath the bottom finger, we step down, curve the palm coming in and then up on both sides. Step down, we want to follow that same curve along the top, coming in towards the side of the body. Let's add those bands across the top of the arm. Bend this in and down. Step in and draw that twice. Now along the top of the staff, we're gonna close this off with a curve. Let's add a few more underneath. Now we're gonna draw the top of the left staff. Let's start from the side, bend this up and then out. And from here, bend this around, up, and then in. 
And then from the tip, go straight down. And we'll round out the bottom. Go down, across, and then up. Let's draw in that center piece. Starting with a gap in the center on the left side, then it's in and then out. Round out the side, and then bend that in. Let's add a point. Bend this down and out. Come in and then up toward the center point. Let's open up the center from the middle. Bend this around, back in toward the center on the left and right. Now let's go over towards the right side. From these two top points, bend this up and then out. And then from the ends, bend this in and then down towards the center. Let's add a wick, bend this across, flatten off the end, then trace this back down. Now you want to add that flame going up towards the tip, just going to line this up with the left side. So we're going to start up here, just going to wave this around, up, and then bend that in towards the top. And then just going to wave this all the way around the outside, and then tuck that back in. Let's add a flame texture along the inside, starting from the left, Swirl this around, up and in. Swirl this around again, and then out towards the right. Work our way around the right side, coming up, and then pulling that back down towards the bottom. Now that we've drawn everything in the front, we're gonna layer the hair in behind. Let's start from the center. I'm just gonna swirl the hair. I'm just gonna brush this around, go across toward the left, and then down. And then from here, it's going to add some curls going all the way around and then down in behind the staff and the arms. Start by going out. Let's add these waves going in between. And come all the way down, come in towards the hand, underneath, and just pull that out. Let's add a point. Coming in and up. Step down. It's going to add a layer coming up. Add one more coming in towards the body. Now I want to take that and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to start down here, going up and then down. I'm just going to curl the hair going in behind the staff. Continue down in towards the arm and then down towards the bottom. Now I want to do the same thing, just adding those three layers. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how I draw Moana from Moana 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.